In August's video on the sin of assumptions, I promised an ancillary retort on the concept of doubting. So here it is. Doubt is often seen as something negative, a roadblock that prevents us from taking action. But in reality, I think doubt can be a powerful tool for growth, self-awareness, usually clearer decision-making. First, I think doubt fosters critical thinking. When I question what I'm told or what I believe, I open myself up to new perspectives. Instead of accepting information at face value, if I doubt something, it forces me to dig deeper, evaluate evidence, explore possibilities. Usually this leads to better problem solving and more informed choices. Great discoveries in science and philosophy have often been born out of doubt. Think about Galileo, who doubted the earth was the center of the universe, or Socrates, whose method of questioning is still used to explore truth. That science we're all asked to trust is actually in the business of doubting and disproving its own current truths. I also think doubt helps us prevent blind certainty, what I call assumptions in August's video. Certainty can lead to arrogance or complacency, if I never doubt my beliefs or decisions, I might end up clinging to flawed ideas simply because they're in my knower, judge, or comfort zone. Doubt forces me to step back and assess, helping me stay open to change. In a world that's constantly changing, the ability to adapt is crucial. Doubt can help us remain flexible, improving both personal growth, interpersonal relationships, and reminding us we don't have all the answers. And maybe most importantly, I think doubt builds resilience. When we doubt ourselves, whether it's our skills or our plans or our directions in life, it can feel uncomfortable, even scary. But facing that uncertainty and working through it can strengthen us. It can help us cultivate persistence and patience. People who have experienced doubt but continue to move forward develop increased confidence. Not because they never question themselves, but because they've learned to navigate these doubts. In this way, doubt is not a weakness, but a tool for building inner strength, a productive habit to nurture. And doubt promotes humility. Acknowledging doubt means admitting we don't know everything, and that's okay. True learner-researcher humility, not just the go-through-the-motions type, allows us to remain open to learning from others, to understand our limits, to collaborate more effectively. And when we lead with humility, I think we become better listeners, more understanding of others' doubts and struggles. I believe doubt is some, not something to shy away from. It's more something to embrace. It sharpens our minds, keeps us adaptable, builds resilience, so the next time you find yourself doubting something, remember, maybe it's not a barrier. Maybe it's an opportunity. It's Kim, and this is another moment of clarity.